My name is Patrick Schraar and I am the CEO of the Ropa ITB group. Some of you will uh, remember my first video in uh, April of this year. It was in the middle of the first wave of Corona infections. Today it's October 2024 and we are in the middle of the second wave here in Europe. And I decided to give all my stakeholders an update on the situation in our company. Now, first of all, it's maybe good to have a look at our sales levels in the, uh, during the last uh, months. This graph shows uh, the, our turnover of the total group during the year 2020. So here is January and here is December of this year. The blue line on 100%, this is our original budget for this year. So what you see that the SO the orange line is the actual uh, sales levels. So what you see is in the first two months, we were a little bit below budget. Then in March, the Corona crisis uh, started and you see that our sales went down. And this point is May of this year, and it's at the level of minus 40% compared to the budget. After May, the sales went uh, up, and this uh, point is uh, August of this year. So you see that we had a steep recovery. Uh, and in August, September, and October until today, you see we are uh, roughly on the budget level. So a high demand uh, here, uh, and a fast recovery, and this fast recovery, uh, not we, not our customers, did expect this uh, fast recovery. If we look here, this is uh, November, December. So you see what we see is that the orders and the forecast is now uh, going down uh, again, probably due to the second wave. And it's still difficult to predict what will happen in the beginning of, uh, of next year. Um, yeah, let me let me give you uh, also an update on our uh, the, on the situation of our six uh, factories all over the world, and I like to start with uh, with good news. Uh, it's in our factory in China, as you know, in China there are almost no infected people uh, anymore, so we have a full staff available. Factory is uh, is running well, demand is good. So absolutely no worries in our factory in China. I have to say also the factory of, in Germany is running well. In Germany, the number of infected uh, people is going up, but it's still much better under control than in all other countries in Europe. And also for us, staff is, is, uh, we have fully staffed and the factory is, uh, is running well. Our biggest problem is in Czech Republic. Uh, Czech Republic, they have uh, today 15,000 corona infections uh, a day with only 10 million uh, inhabitants. So, yeah, you understand the virus is in, in the whole country. And we unfortunately also have a few infected uh, colleagues. Um, all the situation has an influence on the staff we have available in our factory. And it's also because family members are sometimes ill or infected, and then also our colleagues cannot come uh, to work. Uh, but also schools are closed, and if they don't have a solution for daycare for their children, then some of our uh, operators or uh, people of the factory, they have to stay at home to take care of the, uh, of the children. So it's a real battle to keep full production in our factories in Czech Republic. In Holland and in Mexico, it's a bit better. Also, there are a high number of uh, corona infections in the country. But let's say, yeah, it's reasonable. We, we also miss some critical staff. Uh, and also there, our management and the whole team is fighting to deliver all the products in time. Today, uh, we have two, uh, two battles. One battle is the battle of to keep all our colleagues safe. And I want to ask 
everybody of our company, please be careful. Please follow the rules in the factories, but also in your private life. The situation is difficult and I know it's already for eight months that we have to live in a different way. But unfortunately, there is no other solution than changing our behavior and reducing the number of contacts and keeping the distance to our colleagues and our friends. Our second battle is to deliver in time. As you could see uh, in the graph, uh, we have a high demand and in almost all our factories, we miss critical staff. So we have already some escalations and I want to tell all our customers uh, that we are aware of it, that everybody is stepping in, including myself. It's now our important goal to deliver everything in time and to get rid of our backlog. It's important that you share your priorities and that we can use our uh, capacity for the products that you really need. And um, if you really have a problem or it's very, very critical, please do not hesitate to contact me. I cannot make promises uh, up front, but I will dive in it. I will look at it and I will see if I can help you and make uh, the right priorities and the right uh, decisions. Now, as I explained uh, before, the demand is now going down. So I, uh, I hope that we can recover the backlog in the coming uh, weeks. Yeah, it's not an uh, easy time uh, for all of us, but um, yeah, I'm convinced that if we work together, if we keep open communication, that we will survive this second wave of the coronavirus. Thank you for listening and stay safe.